Here I'm going to show you how to sort data based on cell or font color in Excel, or even mixing the two together. And it's not just for one color. So let's say that I have yellow here and I want the yellows at the top, then I want whatever this color is underneath that, and then the grays below that, and then cells with no color below all of that. So this tip is going to allow you to select as many colors as you want and put font colors in there as well and make a cool little sort for your data. Now, if you just want to have one color at the very top, make life easy, select that cell, right click, go to sort, and then choose one of these options here. Put selected cell color on top, font color or formatting icon. Then that'll put one of them at the top of the list. Easy peasy. But we want to do it with multiple colors and also control their order. So to do this, we can go to the data tab and then either click anywhere in the list to be filtered or select the entire list, whichever is easier for you, and click sort. It'll try and figure out what your data is and it'll try and figure out if you have headers or not. So you can see here, it moved the selection down one row and checked my data has headers. If I uncheck that, it'll select the top row. So make sure the correct data has been selected. And it does make life a little bit easier if you have headers on your data in this case. But now what we're going to do is just use this window to build a cool little sort. So let's say we want the yellow on the top. First, we're going to select the column. This is why headers help. So we can click name and sort on. I don't want to sort on the values. I want to sort on cell color. Now I'm going to choose the color, and this is so awesome. It just shows me the colors that are already in my list in this column. So I want yellow on top, click that. Now I can go to add level. Then we want to sort on name, cell color. Next I want, there we go, I want whatever this color is. Now if you want to keep adding colors but save some time, select one that is the correct column and the correct sort on, and just click copy level. That way all you have to do is change the order down here, make it for gray, and there we go. Now if you want to add a level for font color, all you have to do is select the column and then down here select font color, and then select the font color right there. So you can co-mingle the two sort options and it's pretty cool. And if you want to remove a level, just hit delete level. If you want to change the order, select it and click these arrows over here. It really makes it so easy to apply a custom sort. And watch over here when I hit OK. Awesome. So now our data has been sorted by cell color exactly how we want it to be. And let's say that I change something. If I go here here, make it no fill, then we go back to data and sort. It still has retained the order that we want, so everything is good. All we have to do is click OK, and life is good. We are happy. So you can see it's very easy, and I'd say rather powerful, especially for large lists, to sort on cell color and font color. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.